I feel like I haven't done one of these in a little while, but what I've been copying as of lately, the last one of the year of 2023. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Smash that like button for me and subscribe if you guys are new here. It does go a long way. This video is going to be going up before Christmas, so I wanted to say happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone watching this video. I greatly appreciate your guys' support and hopefully you guys do enjoy the time with your families and friends, whatever it truly is. I really hope you guys have a good Christmas. So thank you guys from my end. Happy holidays and hopefully you guys enjoy the vid. Let's get into the pick. In this video, I feel like I never really got to show these on the channel, but I've had these for probably about a month or two now. We have the Adidas Yeezy Boot in the Desert Sand colorway. I did pick these up locally from a store called Bring It Back. They posted these used, like worn twice. They honestly look dead stock when I tried them on. After taxes for the Yeezy Boots, I only paid $325, which personally is a steal in my opinion, considering these go for like $500 brand new. You guys let me know what you guys think about that price down below in the comment box. Overall, a really good boot to have in the rotation. I've been wearing these a ton and I'll post up photos of me wearing them as we speak. But as far as sizing on these, these are very weird with sizing. I do wear a nine and a half in literally all the shoes I have behind me. But for this pair, I did go with a size 10 because that's what the store had and I knew they ran small. But honestly, I could probably even fit a 10 and a half in the easy boots. So if you guys are in the market for these, please keep that in mind. They run really small in the toe box. For the next pickups, I did go ahead and buy these from a Black Friday sale from a store called Bodega. They had a 30% off site-wide sale, so I went ahead and purchased them. I did get the Stussy cargo pants in black and also camo. I believe these are called the surplus cargos from Stussy. 30% off wasn't a bad deal in my opinion, and I feel like I needed to go ahead and hop on the opportunity. A ton of you guys have been asking about these when I wore them on Instagram, so please keep in mind they run a little big. I did go true to size with a size 32. I don't know how exactly a size 30 would fit me. I'm not too sure if these are still available, but I will do my best to go ahead and link everything down below in the description box if you guys are interested in it. So there you guys have it. Stussy surplus cargo pants. I definitely love this camo pair right here. Very nice pants to have in the rotation. I didn't style both of these shoes in a recent video. So if you guys haven't watched that video, make sure to go ahead and track back and watch the styling video. Personally, I think these are some really good sneakers to have in the rotation. These are the undefeated Terra Humaras. Definitely this black pair is super clean in my opinion. I just have been wearing this a ton lately, but you can't really go wrong with a nice pop of color with the brown pair. Shout out to Undefeated for this collaboration. Like I said, I did style these in a separate video. So if you guys are in the market for a nice Nike shoe to wear daily, Check these out, very comfortable, very clean. I feel like this collaboration was just really random, but I really love it, and personally, this black pair goes what it is lately, but this fall winter time, I've been really messing with like brighter blues and purples. As you guys can see, a nice little purple beanie, which we'll get into in a little bit. But on Black Friday, I did go ahead and purchase this nice all blue strawberry hoodie with the white lettering on it. I did see Jordan Clarkson wear this, which was kind of cool. So it kind of made me love this sweater a little more. Overall, just an all over blue hoodie, strawberry on the front, nice puff print in white. Good quality on the puff print, if you were to ask me. I can't even say that, puff print. Sizing wise, I did go with a size large. If I were to go ahead and go back and purchase this, I'd probably get an extra large just because I feel like my shoulders look a little tight. Um, the arms look a little tight in there. Maybe I'm just getting a little swole, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I would definitely go back and get an extra large, but the large does fit me. I just have to be careful with the whole dryer situation. In the video, I'm actually wearing it. This is a beanie from Human Made. This is my first Human Made item, which is kind of crazy because it's just a small little purple beanie. But here's the bag for it. You guys have Human Made on the front. Um, it says gears for futuristic teenagers, human made right there. Nice little purple beanie, just a small little, it's not a fisherman beanie, but I just thought it was cool and I went ahead and purchased it. I like the pop of color. I recently wore it in this photo and I feel like it was a good pop of purple. And like I said, lately I've been messing with the blues and the purples, so. The blues and the needles, if you guys follow the channel for a little while now, you guys know I have this weird obsession with needles flannels. I went ahead and purchased this nice like blue monochromatic type flannel from Feature. Um, this was like something that kind of stood out to me because I do like the blues and the sleeves and everything. So definitely a good pickup in my opinion. I need to relax with the needles flannels because these are a little expensive, but I do love the look of them. You guys let me know. This one is a one size on me, meaning one size fits most. I would definitely recommend trying on needles flannels before purchasing them online because it is a little tough with sizing. Um, but yeah, there you guys have it. Another needles flannel to add to the collection. So on the channel, we recently styled both pairs of the Ama Menier 5s. I actually have the white colorway for sale on Flake's Closet. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to go ahead and check out Flake's Closet and show that whole page some love. It does mean a lot when you guys go ahead and purchase items from there. 
But I wanted to go ahead and share these. I was able to get these for retail, which was the Amma Minier Jordan 5 Dusk. And uh, recently I posted these on Instagram and a lot of you guys showed love to that fit. But overall, I feel like the dust colorway is the only right way to go when it comes down to the Ama Minier 5s. I just feel like the Ama Minier in the Dawn colorway, the weird tint of gray is kind of odd in my opinion. So I don't know exactly what to tell you guys, but I feel like the black pair is just very, very clean. Especially with the cream lace swap, it just goes undefeated in my opinion. I feel like the cream lace swap is what does it for me. Shout out to Ama Minier for picking your boy for, you know, the raffle or whatever but was able to scoop these up for retail size nine and a half men's i'm a minier five in the dust color the next pickup is this shelf right here a ton of you guys were asking me about this shelf on instagram i'll put up pictures and maybe some videos as we speak about it this is the open space sneaker shelf um, super clean, very an aesthetically pleasing, I guess you can say. I feel like it's a nice little aesthetic to have with this shelf right here. Um, you guys know me, I've been rocking with this shelf for a while now, but I feel like I've been downsizing my collection to where this uh, open spaces shelf is just very, very clean and I love how it looks. Keeping like my rotation on this rack and then whatever I'm not wearing, I'll put on the big sneaker rack. But if you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. Using that link does help out the channel. It is a little bit on the steeper side when it comes down to a sneaker shelf, but if you guys have the extra funds, I feel like aesthetically, this looks really, really nice in a household. On top of the shelf, I was carrying the new Flake Studios hats, which I feel like I should go ahead and share with you guys. If you guys are interested in this hat right here, this is from my own personal brand. It'll probably be releasing in the next week or so. Make sure to go ahead and follow that brand's Instagram page or follow me and uh, you guys will definitely see the release date. I have this nice little Kelly Green Flake Studios gaming department hat right here. A ton of you guys showed love on Instagram for this colorway. Also dropping it in brown. So here you guys have it. Flake's gaming department. Nice brown and green. These two colorways will be releasing. And I went ahead just for fun. I made a purple colorway just for myself because I've been messing with purple lately. I'm not too sure why but yeah if you guys want this purple colorway to release let me know but these ones these two right here will for sure be releasing very very soon so make sure to go ahead and follow me on instagram for updates this pickup was a little bit of an impulse buy on black friday but here you guys have it the thousand percent kai big wave i'll try and link it down below if you guys are interested in this but this is the thousand percent kai big wave bare brick if you guys know the prices are kind of steep on these things but i did go ahead and get it for a good price off of a local vacant store the store was called 3d retro and i only paid 260 dollars us for this which i feel like is a good price for a dope bear brick um, you guys let me know what you guys think about it i feel like the art on this is super clean and it was just a nice addition to go ahead and add to the apartment i definitely want like two two more bear bricks i feel like three is just maxed out for me but definitely a dope thousand percent to have so recently nike went ahead and blessed all the feature employees so i went ahead and got these mac attacks for free i feel like this is a good shoe to have on feet you know just an everyday rotational sneaker in that nice white and yellow colorway definitely something i've been wearing a lot as of lately you guys can see the scuff marks on the toe box that's a nike and shout out to feature for blessing your boy with the free mac attacks i did go true to size in these size nine and a half i do like how you know your boy is on the Laker wave right now with the yellow and purple even though the Lakers have been playing super bad lately um it sucks to say this but I feel like the Lakers might need to trade d and that's that breaks my heart because I love d -Lo. So shortly after this video, I will be posting a vlog. In that vlog, it will contain clips from the feature holiday party. But in the feature holiday party, they did go ahead and take care of your boy with a couple of Christmas gifts. So shout out to Feature for all the items I'm about to show you guys. But one of the gifts were the old school Vans in that nice patent leather. Here you guys have it, just a Sinners Club on the backside. Nice patent leather on the toe box. This was Feature's collaboration with Vans a long time ago, like a handful of years ago. But I still have to lace these up. This is definitely something you guys will see me wear on occasion because I do wear these this pair from time to time it does say sinners club on the toe box but yeah I now I have both pairs go ahead and give me the new feature tees it does have a nice little collegiate vibe it says feature right here nice little puff like uh, furry print on there the second t-shirt this one's my favorite though here you guys have it new feature graphics coming soon does say feature on the front side this does have a nice puff print I just really like this colorway right here super clean and then last but not least we do have the black and white t-shirt it does say feature i don't want to take it out of the bag but um yeah dope gifts to have last two items from feature was this nice green hat that i did want this is super clean just a nice fitted hat right here it does say feature right there nice little f in the old english font um i feel like i have to bend the brim right now i kind of look like kind of look like luigi 
Um, I need to bend this brim, but yeah, very clean hat in my opinion. And then the last hat is this dope little F1 hat. It does say first on the side, nice embroidery on the bill right here. And it says feature in that nice like um, F1 type vibe. I don't even know, but I feel like this hat fits me very, very nicely. And I'm super excited about this one. If you guys are interested in them, I'll link them down below. All right, y'all, that does wrap it up for today's pickup video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the pickups. Shout out to everyone for watching the whole way through. If you guys watch the whole way through, drop the grape emoji, just because your boy's looking like a little grape with this beanie. Thank you guys so much for all the love as of lately. Happy holidays. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Smash the like button for me. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Everything you need will be linked down below in the description box. See you guys in the next video. Peace.